Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris and welcome to Linux Tech Geek. So if you guys have been watching my YouTube channel here, you guys would know that I am a Gen 2 Linux user. I've been a Gen 2 Linux user for many years now. In fact, I've probably been running Gen 2 Linux on and off for the past, I would say, five or six years. Um, but here recently, in fact today, I got this wild hair up my butt, and for some reason, I wanted to distro hop. Now, I have not distro hopped, and like I said, for about, about a year. Um, prior to running Gen 2, I think I ran um, Arco Linux. I ran Arco Linux for, I don't know, a year and something. And then um, before I got my main machine here, I was running Arco on my laptop, and then I switched to Gen 2 on the laptop when I started the YouTube channel, and then uh, I put Gen 2, of course, on my desktop here. But today, I said, you know what? It's time for a change. I, I want to try something new. Um, I was getting a little bored with Gen 2. Nothing's wrong with Gen 2. Um, I didn't have any problems with the package management. Everything worked. Um super easy to configure um the only thing i would say about gen 2 is that yes it does take a little bit longer than a binary distribution um to kind of get some of the packages going and everything um but that's really not the reason i switched the reason i switched is because simply i, I got bored um i got bored with how gen 2 worked i got bored with the package manager um and I wanted to try a Linux distribution that A, is very minimal. Two, I wanted to try a, um, a binary package manager. Um, so something that doesn't take all day to install packages. And then three, it has to be stable enough where I can get my work done. Um, I can't run a rolling release that breaks and still do the YouTube content because that just wouldn't work for me. Um, so I thought about it for a while and you know what? I was like, let's try Void Linux. Um, I, I've done, uh, I think a review in the past on the channel. Um, and I liked how fast it was. It was very minimum. So it fit the criteria. Um, the only thing I had questioned initially was how hard was it to go? In, how hard was it going to be to get my NVIDIA drivers installed? Because that's a big thing because I use NVIDIA, um, and of course the camera and all that um, type of stuff. I had to reconfigure some of this. Um, as you can see, it. The background here is just my background on my computer. Um, I just now got OBS set up. So I do apologize about that. Also apologize if you guys hear any background noise. Uh, I'm not running any filters at the moment in OBS on my uh, on my microphone here. So <clears throat> my voice might be a little bit different. Um, but the NVIDIA drivers were a big thing. Um, and then... Just how hard was it to set up X and just get, you know, everyday normal production stuff that I normally run. How hard was it to get set up? And as you can see, I've got QTOS set up here. We'll switch over to the desktop. Um, but yeah, I got QTOS. Now, the only thing I will say about QTOS, the icons are not fully, um, they're not working right. Um, I don't know. I've got Nerd Font installed. I've got all the fonts that I typically would use. Um, I haven't rebooted though, so perhaps after a, a reboot, um, that'll fix itself. Um, and then I had to get some. Um, I had to get uh, time working right, um, so that was a big thing. Uh, but I did get Nvidia working. Um, Nvidia works. In fact, if we pull up a terminal here and we do GLX info B, so you can see um, I do get my video card working. 
So that was a huge, huge thing. Um, and then I wanted to get all of the programs that I normally would run. So I did get uh, NeoVim is installed. I haven't installed Emacs yet. Um, but one program that's not installed, that's not in the repos, and I don't understand why and I haven't installed it yet, is Fish. The Fish Shell. I got ZSH working. Um, that's not a big thing. But Fish. So if we do XBPS install Fish. Fish is not found in the repo. And I don't know why. <laughs> Um, so that's something I'll have to, uh, I'll have to get working, but yeah, um, as you can see here, um, do got void, uh, we're running 669 packages, um, and my uptime's been, it's been up for a couple hours now, um, I am running a ZSH, but as soon as I get fish working, um, I'll definitely get fish running, um, I'm also using West Term. Um, not using Alacrity. Um, I, I happen to like West Term, and uh, it's pretty quick. And uh, yeah, I'm going to continue using it. In fact, I'm going to do some more configuration, uh, more configuring on it too. Um, but yeah, uh, also my resolution right now I have it set to 1920 by 1080. I need to have it default to that 1920 by 1080. Because these are 2K monitors, and I have OBS set up right now to only um, record in 1080. Um, that way, if I if I go to YouTube and I start a stream or something, um, for some reason, streaming on YouTube at 2K, um, you got to have really good internet, and um, yeah, it, it's bugged out in the past on me, so... But that's pretty much it. That's the only reason I really wanted to make this video. Um, I, I've, I've got everything I need. Um, like I said, everything everything works. Um, the kernel is 6.125. Now, on Gen 2, I was running 6.2.27. Um, but it, it doesn't seem to be an issue. So... Um, I'm sure the 6.2 kernel will be out on Boyd here uh, pretty soon. But, uh, yeah, uh, tell me what you guys think. Tell me, in fact, tell me if you guys have switched Linux distros in a while. And uh, tell me what distro you guys have switched to. Um, I think I'm going to be pretty happy here on Boyd. Um, I really do. Um, it's really fast and um uh, it's very minimum so that's something i like oh yeah and one more thing i had to get working is i had to get uh pulse audio working for some reason void linux does not install pulse audio by default so when i installed pavu control uh pavu control was giving me an error because it couldn't find pulse audio um so i had to manually um install pulse audio and then um, set that service up and everything. But other than that, um, everything else is pretty uh, pretty good. So if you guys enjoyed the content, give me a like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. And thank you to everyone who's been subscribing to my channel here lately. And uh, yeah, more content on the way. And uh, until next time, you guys take care, be safe, and peace. Bye, guys.